This is Monday, April 12, 2021, meeting of the Berlin Board of Assessors. As a preliminary matter, please note that this meeting is being recorded and that some attendees are participating by video conference. Accordingly, please be aware that other folks may be able to see you. Take care not to screen share your computer. Anything that you broadcast may be captured by the recording. This is Kevin Pond, Chair of the Board of Assessors. Permit me to confirm that all members and persons anticipated on the agenda are present and can hear me prior to me calling the meeting to order. So members, when I call your name, please respond in the affirmative. Bev Wheeler. Here. Roger Bradley. Here. Staff, when I call your name, please respond in the, in the affirmative. Molly Reed, Assessing Director. Here. Okay. Any anticipated speakers on the agenda tonight? No. Okay. With a quorum of the board president, I call this meeting to order at 5.59 p.m. on Monday, April 12, 2021. My, mine says six o'clock, so. Six o'clock it is. Let me go get my paperwork. I'll be right back. I don't have an agenda. I printed out two minutes. Damn. <laughs> I printed it out, Molly. Okay, you'll have to prompt me, maybe. Okay. I'm, I'm following the minutes from last week. So you don't, you don't have them, Molly? I don't have the agenda, but I do have the minutes and so I can follow along. Okay. All right. So, um, the first thing on the agenda is to accept the minutes from March 22nd. Uh, you want me to read them? Yeah, I think we should go over them. Okay. Roger so here. Yeah. We started the meeting at 6.06. .06. We were all here. Um, we accepted the minutes from March 8th. Uh, we had the correspondence on the right of first refusal for two, lot 2A on Lyman Road and the board was to sign after the select board waived their right of first refusal, which we did. Um, there was a DLS, which is the Department of Local Services that oversees us for the state, Roger, um, on an act furthering, further providing for early voting by mail. And we had the city and town from from March and I, and then from the town administrator, we had the announcement that the post town meeting had been postponed to March 15th from one to five. Um, the one stop community growth survey results. And um, we were notified by the board of selectmen that we had a person interested in our open board member position and we were gonna have a joint meeting on March 29th. And we did that and we got Roger. So we're excited about that. <laughs> we are. <laughs> uh, for my report, I, I, I had sent out some information on assessor from Mass General Laws and I was asking if there was any qu questions uh, we talked about the personal property software update, just staying where we are for right now and to get FY22 rolling and then look into it after that. I sent out copies of the sales for you to review. And we went over a letter that was sent out to um, Estabrook and the board approved it and signed it. And then for signature items, there was accounts payable, motor vehicle abatements, um, to sign the January 8th minutes, because somehow we forgot to do that, and to do payables. And the old business was the classification and compensation report, and I sent you the YouTube link for that. Um, 
small commercial exemptions and sales. So, and then the meeting was adjourned at 627 and we went into executive session. And that's all I have for the minutes. Okay. All those in I favor of the, those minutes? Aye. Raj, you in favor of those minutes? Sounds good to me. Okay. Uh, I am also in favor. So we are good to go on the minutes. Okay. Okay. So correspondence was we have um, a city in town, another city in town, and it's on some new, it's all about the training resource center. So they have a new finance committee training video available and the other half of, and there's a bunch of assessor stuff out there. And the second half was about um, PERCA, which is the retirement funds for the state for retirement. And we also got um, the informational guideline release from the Division of Local Services. I'm speaking in, I'm not using letters, Kevin, are you happy? <laughs> I'm getting there. Um, they all, every year they send out an update on what you're supposed to do and have on tax bills and the dates involved in doing that. So we got that. And then the, we got the informational guideline release on what the social security deduction is gonna be for FY22. So that takes okay. care of correspondence. I don't think there was anything from town administrator that I needed no, to nothing give in there. you. And then my stuff was to go over um, the abatements. Actually, Mike just called me a couple of minutes ago. Um, so we'll have to, I'll either have to talk to Kevin about that and put it on the agenda for our next meeting or whatever, because I didn't set up executive session because I didn't hear from Mike regarding that ATB case for the mall. So um, there's that. And then I, the only other two that are left is Bev's and um, the Berlin Retirement. And I spoke to Berlin Retirement today and told them that uh, the information that they had given us was for next year, that we had already taken into account for this year some potential um, COVID issues in that their assessment for this year was, uh, the assessment that went out for this year was based on that. So I told her that you, because you had, said this before that you weren't inclined to do anything more for this year and told her that and I'm going to follow up with a letter from me about my conversation with her. Um, and this is in regards to what address? The 130, the one in the front, the older one. Okay, so we're talking about 135 Pleasant Street out front. Yeah. Okay. And Did, then I, I did a demo for a product that's called near map um, with trying to gear up for virtual inspections that everyone's been doing. Um, and it's, I didn't realize that it's a subscription. It's not that you have to have all this other software added to your computer. You go onto their site and use their stuff. I'm going to um, bring this up at the department head meeting tomorrow and um, discuss that at the department head because all departments should buy into this and do a demo for planning, conservation, zoning, building, fire, highway, and police. Okay, so what does that do for us? We can it's, see the thing from the sky or? Yeah, they, they fly over every two years. So we will be able to 
get down right down to the house. We can walk around the house online and we can and the measuring tools are exact. Oh, so God, we can but, measure a house from sitting at the computer. Yeah, but if you know someone renovates their kitchen, that doesn't no, that's, that's something different. That would be okay. you would have to right. Yeah. Um, okay. So, and then the only other thing was, I think I had um, on there the class, we're taking a class, Joanne and I are doing the virtual uh, vision user group meeting on at the end of the month, I think it's the 29th and 28th. And that's free. And then there was another free thing that we were doing that I can't think of what it was, but did I write it down? WCAA. Oh yeah, Worcester County Association is doing a thing on exemptions. On, on the 21st. Yeah. Um, I get my second shot on the 21st. So I don't know, one of us will be attending that to see what they have to say on that stuff. And was there anything else? Did I remember everything? Not um, assessing F why 2020 reviewing sales parcel splits that's that's what i've been i've been working okay. on trying to get the 2020 file set and so the uh, administrative finance team really wants to get bills out and due by november 1st so we're on sort of an accelerated schedule so i've been working on that along with doing rose jobs and answering questions so I just wanted to let you know that it was it's, it, Monday is a very hectic <laughs> I don't like you guys meeting on Mondays <laughs> it's just so you want but we switch from Wednesdays Wednesday. because Due of what zoom now. because there wasn't enough zoom thing so oh, yeah we'll just finish this out for the year I just have to I, I have to remember I need to do more on Thursdays I guess it was, right. uh, that's why it was so late today. Um, how, how much more is involved now between <clears throat> getting the bill out in November, so to speak, as previous times, Molly? Do we need to have our value set in July. And we've been getting our value set more so in August. <clears throat> so it's like so, a who, month. Who, who's who's going to control that and make sure that that gets done. Well, I'm going to control my part and June's going to control her part and Dennis is going to control his part. And that's all we need to get it done in July instead of August. Well, no, if we need to get all of our stuff done and into the Department of Revenue and the Department of Revenue is the um, wild card yeah could be the hold up they could be yeah. the hold up. okay all right yeah, but well we were looking to do the classification hearing in the beginning late in the beginning of august instead of september yeah <coughs> but but that doesn't guarantee us getting that bill out on time if the state's not quote working with us so to speak Correct. Right? <laughs> Well, they weren't. It's not a reval year this year, so it should go pretty smoothly. Okay. All right. Just all right. And I did attend that webinar that Joanne Graziano did for um, <clears throat> um, the Department of Revenue on trying to predict what our splits are going to be this year. So um, it was a her. It was a her way of doing it is to do pivot tables, which I'm not in Excel to do pivot tables, which is not something I've ever worked with. So I'm gonna to try to, I'm also gonna be in between all this other stuff, I'm gonna try and have something um, ready for when we meet with the selectmen on the 26th of April, I believe was the date that Margaret gave us just to give them an update on what we're doing 
Is that? Um, are we going to be there? The board was. Well, if you if you'd like to, or if just one of you are. Um... And what? Why would we meet with them now? Just run that by me. Well, because Mark, department heads usually give a update to the board, and since. That, that are under the Board of Selectmen's jurisdiction. Since I'm under your jurisdiction, I they've never really asked me before, but um, she invited the board to come and talk to the Board of Selectmen about things or to do an update on things. Okay, and when is that gonna happen? I think it's March 26th, uh, not March, we switched months, April 26th um, at, I think she said 7.20, I will get back to you on that. Okay. And um, so I was wondering if you wanted to change the April 2nd meeting from the, I think to the 26th instead of the, I don't even have a calendar. It is the 26th anyway, Molly, Molly. it's the 12th and 26th this month. Okay, so um, we'll just, probably have a short meeting to just in case there's something that you need to sign and yeah. then we'll just go to the selectmen's meeting at 7 20 or whatever it is okay what what are we going to tell the selectmen what is on our agenda and what items are we going to talk to the selectmen about oh well, i would like to talk to them about how the residential market has been selling way above what we have for assessments for this year. So residential is going to go up and commercial is going to go down and how that's going to affect them thinking about splitting the rate. Okay. Um, uh, how we're going to split the rate, meaning we're still going to have a split rate. Is that my understanding? Yeah, yeah, how it's going to affect splitting the rate. Okay. I okay. guess is the better wording of that statement yeah. I just made. Okay. And are we prepared to do that? Not yet, but oh. okay. <laughs> that's, that's my that's one of my goals for the next two weeks. <laughs> okay, I'm just kind of thinking out loud here. Okay. Um, Can I back you up for a minute? Yeah. Molly, yeah. so when you when you mentioned about the taxes, you said the valuations of houses are not going up this year. It's nope. the taxes that go up. Is nope. that correct? No. Nope. What I said was is the, the the housing market for residential properties is off the charts all through Massachusetts. So yes, I know that. I'm talking with, before you said that when you were talking about um doing the assessing for FY22, reviewing the sales, parcel splits, building permits, blah, blah, blah. And then you mentioned something that this year was valuations, wasn't oh, valuing. Yeah. So the DOR last year, it was a revaluation year. And this year it's just a regular interim year. So the DOR doesn't have as many requirements for us to give them. We just basically have to give them our sales reports and tell them that our values have been going oh, okay. opposed to doing all the other things that they require in a reval year. Okay. I was just wanted to get it right in my head. So, so with that, we're going to assume housing is going to go up by some factor and all commercials going to go down by some factor, by some factor and uh, do we have an explanation of what, what we're going to do if it comes to an empty Sears at the mall, so to speak? It, yeah. No, but that might be a conversation that you, you and the Board of Selectmen have. It's not anything we can do. Right now. Right now about it. And we're not going to be able to do that by the 26th. No. And our no. goal our goal or our statement from the offices, we're just going to wait and see because we don't know how any of this is going to affect 
uh, property taxes in Berlin at the current time? Right. Okay. But we can we can estimate what we think is going to happen because yeah. the 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 segments of the commercial industry uh, commercial sector that has dropped tremendously is restaurants, yeah. shopping malls, motel hotels. Those are the right. those are the three categories that are taking the biggest hit, and that's mostly what our commercial base is. Yes. So right. um, if we had more off uh, medical rentals or medical <laughs> marijuana, medical anything, or any industry like um, in, um, industrial, we've got banner, banner industries, that's the, about the only really industrial piece of property we have, yeah. but. Um, Banner Road isn't gonna save our, the Berlin's economy, I don't believe. I don't believe either, so. so. Okay, so we, we just better, I don't know, get prepared to kind of answer that or talk about that question though. Yeah, okay. but I think it would be good for, if anybody listens into the selectmen's meeting for them to know that, um, residential sales aren't even staying on the market two weeks and they're selling. You're right. You're absolutely right. And you're lucky to get it if you even bid on it. Yeah. So that's so that's that's the market we're in. Yes. I'm talking to a kid today and uh, his client lost the house and they put an extra one hundred thousand dollars cash down. And they didn't get the house because someone else put two hundred thousand dollars down. Wow. So what's that? So that That's, cap? Huh? See, I don't, I don't like hearing those things because those to me are not valid sales. <laughs> uh, yeah. And then, then we'll be. But that's what people have come to if you want the house, this day and age. That's what you're up against. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. That's kind of scary with the economy, though. Too, I think, though. Absolutely. You know, unbelievable, scary. Be, lo be losing the house, unfortunately, maybe. I, I I don't know. I don't know. I can't disagree. If the bottom ever falls out, where are you going to be then? But that's where we are right now. Okay. All right. So we can talk about that. Um, that's good. All right. We'll get a list of things that. We should we should have on the list though so they ask us we'll be somewhat ready. Okay, yeah. like that. Yeah, good. Um, uh, Roger, anything? There? Any questions or? Not, not so far. Okay. Okay. <laughs> You're doing good. <laughs> yeah. I'll send you out those those things that I had sent the board. Um, that sort it sort of explains what the law says the assessors do. If you want to read that over so you can have a basic overview. Okay. And then pre it's pretty much cyclical as far as the topics that come up because we basically do the same things over and over. Okay. With Thanks. different results. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> I don't know. But, okay. Um, Anything else we have to go over? Do we have to go in and sign anything here? Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. And so. I did I did up a payroll for you too. Um, now that Roger's on board, so you get three signatures. And I did it from July 1st to March 31st. So it it comes out to like $508. Wow. I wonder if that'll pay for the gas running back and forth. I don't know. Well, you're not that far away. I would hope. I it know. Would. I know. Just, I couldn't let it slide. Okay. All right. What else do we have? Anything else? No. So when we go in and sign now, we have to have all three signatures. Right. But we're open 
so if Bev and Roger just want to call and come in and sign, or if, if you want to call and come in and sign, we can let you in. Yeah, okay. All right. I don't know, Roger, if you can make it there during the day. The, the quickest I could make it there would be 430. Yeah, so that's not going to work. So you'll have to just call me and uh, I'll just get on with you and have you sign. Okay. But if you're off during the day or a day, you can go in and sign, but you leave early and come home late, right? Yeah. Yeah. So that's okay. Just call me up and I'll get on and sign with you. Okay. okay. When did this, this paperwork have to be signed by? Oh. Well, by the end of the week, so we can get stuff into the other departments. Okay. Um, and there's, right. there's five CPAs and five exemptions and they all qualify. Okay. And that's on the table now to be signed. Yep. Okay. All right. And also there is the insurance is, um, it, it open enrollment is now and Dennis left packets for you guys. Okay, go okay. ahead. All right. Did you get a packet? I Because I went to check with Dennis to see if you had to fill out new employee papers. And he said, no, because you were already working in another department. So. Well, if the papers are there, I'll get them. Yep. So they're for, they're for you and Bev, but okay. I didn't get one for Roger. So I don't know if he already got one, if he doesn't want one or I was just letting that be known. So it'd be basically health insurance through the town is what it boils down to. Yes. You, you wouldn't take that, Raj, right? No. I, I no. Don't. Okay. So right. no, okay. never mind the last five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> You'll never get it back. Yeah. He, right. he may need it someday, you never know. But I think it's only once you're elected, not appointed. Right. That you're el eligible well, for it. Yeah, but I didn't know if he was eligible from the whatever way you work for the, the television oh, yeah, the people. people. Right. I don't know if that works that way. But okay. anyhow. Okay. All right. And I'm going to call you tomorrow, Kevin, and go okay. over what Mike just said to me. All right. And then we'll iron that out. And if we need to put it on, we'll put it on and or whatever. Or if yep. there's no answer, we'll just deal with it. Okay. All right. And Molly, um, I won't be there till Thursday to sign paper or no, Wednesday. Okay. Perfect. Because um, tomorrow's COVID test twice. Okay. Okay. All right. And, uh, I'll talk to you, Raj, when we get off, okay? Yeah. About going down to sign, that's all. Okay. All right, we good? Okay. Yeah, because right. there's because there's only three of you, I should explain this to Roger. There's, because there's only three of you, two is a quorum. So if in your social lives, you guys are all in the same room or something, you can talk to one another, but you can't talk about assessing. <laughs> Just to let you know. Makes yeah, good, good reminder. You, yeah. When you only have a three, I said to Bev before you guys came on, I have to put my teacher's hat on and remember what I'm supposed to keep Roger up on. So. Okay. Uh, are we at the end of our meeting? Yes. Okay. Anything else? Old business, new business? We're good to go, right? Yep. Okay. So, meeting mm, adjourning at 627. Okay. Bev, you in okay. favor of adjourning? Aye. Rod, you in favor of adjourning? Aye. And I am in favor of adjourning.